Good evening and a very warm welcome for the final time to Clover Park in Port St. Lucie, Florida on the last day and the ultimate game. as he slides into second off of that throw. Man, first pitch from Hernan Perez going after it. And it's 7.02 in the evening, Venezuela with a base runner aboard right out of the gate in scoring position. He caught everybody by surprise, stretching what off the bat looked like it was just a routine single up the middle, turning it into a double. Bobble out there in yeah. the center field, it looked like by Jaron Duran. So a little that bit of a problem. 1-1 one, one. to third. Todd Frazier's got it on the bag for one across the diamond. 5-3 double play and a fired up U.S. infield heads to the bat rack for the bottom of one. Libertor wriggles out of the jam and Venezuela scoreless in the top half. We move to the bottom of the first. The United States coming up. Five. Frazier off and running on one two and nobody is there as Todd Frazier catches Venezuela's defense completely napping and steals second base. Always that way the U.S. included. There's a shot out to Allen at short great pick on the backhand and there is that arm strength on another good play by the American shortstop Nick Allen. Shoots this one to right field and a diving grab out there by Diego Rincones. What a catch. Two gone. That's risky, too, because if that ball gets by Rincones, Eddie Alvarez can fly. And he is probably as good as home. Yeah. And now 1-0 pitch is hammered out to left field, turning around on it. Williams is going to watch it go. And at Perez, 1-0 Venezuela. He has seen three pitches, and he's got a double and a homer. And he hit a grand slam yesterday. Bear is putting this team on his back. The lefty from the belt comes home, 2-0. Swing and a bouncer, left side. Nick Allen's going to get to that. Go to second for an out there. On to first, out at first, double play. Get Akuto going to the head first dive. And there's two gone in the top of the third inning. And again, this is all because of Nick Allen. Nick Allen's skill, watch the way he positions himself getting to this ball. He is already in position to make that flip. So many guys will grab that on the backhand and try to transfer. Nick Allen is so quick that he can get to that ball and be semi-rounded on it. Last night with Canada, and he said, now is when the real fun starts. Malia gets under it, gets a hold of it, gets it out to right field pretty deep, and this ball's gone! 2-1, the United States takes the lead in the fourth. He kind of felt like a guy who was going to break out at some point. Eric Falia coming into the night tonight, a 250 hitter. All of his hits to this point have been singles. And look at Todd Frazier firing up the crowd behind the plate. Get his team back into the bat rack and down the left field line. That's a base hit for Todd Frazier. It'll add to the U.S. lead. It rattles around and dies under the bench down beyond the bullpen mounds, and we talked about this earlier today. <laughs> Poor Todd Frazier was <laughs> a little frustrated as that thing gets stopped. 3-2. Yeah. 
Struck well to right. Moving back, Falia to the warning track. It's down, and it'll hop over the wall for a ground rule double that will bring in the second run of the game for Venezuela. And this thing is back to a one-run U.S. lead at 3-2. to two. Couple of two-out doubles. Think about how lengthy that bottom half of the fifth inning was and all the work the United States did to score one to open up a little bit of a gap, a 3-1 lead. And then very quickly here, a couple of hits with two outs and Venezuela gets it right back. As a member of the Chicago White Sox back in 2016, 3-1. Crushed to left, right on cue. I'll eat my words, Todd Frazier off the bar and left, and there is that insurance run for the U.S. It's 4-2. That's why you play a veteran so deep. And the United States with a very important fourth run and a very fired up veteran leader as he crosses the plate. I don't think anybody is going to be more disappointed for this tournament to come to an end than Todd Frazier. He has hit his stride. One, two. Grounded, left side. Charged by Frazier. Across the diamond, and they've done it. The United States is going back to the Olympics. They'll be playing baseball at Tokyo 2020. The world number two. It wouldn't have felt right to have the baseball Olympic competition with world number two, the United States, not there. Lockdown because of COVID. But today we celebrate the reopening of our communities and hopefully the world. We are proud to be on the road to Tokyo! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the WBSC Baseball America's qualifying event is the national team of USA.